I've got a cool sound called up and I'm having fun trying out some ideas. And I like that, but I wasn't in record mode. I want to capture that. Well, now in Logic 10.5, we can capture the recordings when we're in stop mode. I'm going to use the default shortcut Shift R, and there's my recording. Sounds great, but it's not in time to the project. I want to get my project to capture that timing that I used, and I wasn't in adapt mode. Well, no problem. We can use Smart Tempo to analyze this and quickly solve it. I'm going to hit E to open the editors. I'm on Smart Tempo here. I'm going to hit the Analyze button. And now I'm going to go apply Region Tempo to Project Tempo. And let's close that and look at the global track. And there's the tempo map that's been created. And let's see if it works. Beautiful. I think I'm going to modify this a little bit because I want it to stay in a set tempo. So I'm going to duplicate this tempo set. And I'll just delete all these and leave it at a steady tempo. Let's just call it 145. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to click here and bring up my tools and get the scissor tool. And I'm going to option click to divide this into two bar chunks like that. Double click T. We're back to normal. And let's build this up a little bit. I'm going to bring in some Apple loops. I'm going to bring in a few different ones. And maybe one more just for variety. I like that big dip on the downbeat there. I'm just bringing them into the tracks area like that. All right, let's close up the loops browser. And I'm going to hit option B to call up the live loops grid. And I'm going to just take everything here and drag it into the grid. So I've got a bunch of different loops. And what I'm going to do is just Spread these out a little bit. Actually, I'll put these all in the same track so that they're all different variations. And let's add some other parts to this. I'm going to hit Option L so we can work just in the live loops grid. But for now, I can hear the two of these together. So we got some nice variations like that. Let's look at some other parts. I've got a bass sound called up here. And I'm going to record into this first cell. So I'm going to look at the recording preferences here. I'm going to set it to record takes because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to record. And I'm going to set it to record to the cell length. And let's set the cell length to be two bars. I'll just hit E to close that up. And at the end of each cycle, it's going to continue recording into takes folders. So I've got my click here and let's prime these so I can hear these as I'm recording. I'm going to hit option R and then I'll try some takes. Okay, I'm going to hit stop, and I got six takes there. Let's just quantize that first. I think eighth notes should be fine. And what I can do is, of course, go through all the individual takes, but I'm going to unpack them to new cells to the right. So now I've got a bunch of different variations on my bass line. Let's audition some of these. I'm just going to hit stop to clear everything. <laughs> All 
right, works fine. I think I'm gonna quantize these as well. And just shift click to select those and we'll put smart quantize onto eighth notes. They should be in sync now. Let's add another part. I've got keys here. Something a bit more sustained. Might need more volume. And again, I'll go to the first cell to start with. I'm gonna set the quantize in advance here to eighth notes, that's fine. And let's do the same thing. We'll record takes. I'm gonna set it to cell length, leave that at record, and we'll just double click to set the cell length. Two bars is fine. I'm working mainly in A minor here. And I'm gonna select these to cue them so that I can hear them while they're recording. We'll use option R for that. Okay, I've got four takes there, and let's just triple click zero to bring everything to stop. And I'm gonna do the same thing here and unpack to the cells to the right. So now I've got some different scenes laid out with some different variations. But instead of just triggering scenes, I wanna try out different combinations of these. So I'm gonna go back to my split screen, option B, and we can just get rid of all this. We don't need it anymore. I'm gonna press this so I can trigger these and capture my performance. So there I've just captured a different combination of different things. Some worked better than others, some didn't, that's fine. I'm gonna hit option N to go to my full tracks view and let's make sure we're playing everything from here now. And there's what I captured and I can of course now go in and edit it, play it back and make changes as I want. So those are some ideas on how you can use the new 10.5 features to explore ideas spontaneously and work out different ways of combining them. If you want to learn more about these and other new features in Logic 10.5, check out Logic 10.5 Update Explained at Groove3.com. 